Welcome back to Elon Musk 24 Hours. SpaceX is on the brink of yet another groundbreaking achievement. With every Starship flight, their vision of pushing the boundaries of space exploration takes a monumental step forward. But Flight 7 isn't just another milestone. It's a mission designed to transform the future of reusable rockets. Introducing Block 2, an upgraded Starship model, this mission aims to test critical advancements in design, landing precision, and hardware recovery that could redefine the way we think about space travel. What sets this mission apart is its ambitious goal, achieving a clean water landing and paving the way for even more daring feats, like catching a spacecraft with a launch tower in the next flight. These aren't mere tests. They are key moments in SpaceX's journey to perfecting a fully reusable spacecraft system, reducing costs and opening the door to unparalleled opportunities in space exploration. Why is this mission so crucial? What innovative upgrades make Block 2 a game changer? And how does this launch set the stage for Starship's ultimate mission of carrying payloads and eventually humans into orbit and beyond? In today's episode, we uncover the details behind SpaceX's bold vision and the technology propelling it forward. Let's dive right in. The vastness of space has always been a mystery that captivates humanity, a frontier that feels impossibly distant yet tantalizingly close. SpaceX's Flight 7 isn't just another mission. It's a daring attempt to bring us one step closer to bridging that gap. Every element of this launch carries the weight of years of innovation, setbacks, and the relentless pursuit of a vision that most deemed impossible. With the new Block 2 Starship, this mission is a bold declaration that the future of space travel is no longer a distant dream. It's unfolding right before our eyes. From the moment the countdown begins, this mission feels different. There's an energy surrounding it, a sense that the stakes are higher than ever. SpaceX isn't merely testing hardware, they're testing the limits of what humanity can achieve. The Block 2 design represents a reimagining of Starship, a spacecraft already hailed as revolutionary. Taller and more powerful, this version introduces breakthroughs that could redefine space travel entirely. But what makes this mission truly pivotal is its primary objective, achieving a clean water landing for the upper stage of Starship. It sounds straightforward, but in reality, it's anything but. Returning a spacecraft from the edge of space to Earth's surface intact is a challenge that combines precision, engineering, and sheer determination. Yet if Flight 7 succeeds, it will mark the first time in history that such a feat has been accomplished, setting the stage for something even more audacious in Flight 8, a mid-air catch by the towering launch structure. Failure isn't an option, but it's always a possibility. The memory of Flight 6 lingers, a mission that showed promise but fell short at the critical moment. The spacecraft's descent pattern was near perfect, but upon splashdown, it shattered on impact and caught fire. For most, such a setback would be discouraging. For SpaceX, it was a lesson. They dissected every detail of that failure, turning each fragment of wreckage into a stepping stone for improvement. Now with the Block 2 Starship, they return with renewed confidence, ready to defy the odds once more. The path to success isn't a straight line. Each component of the Block 2 Starship represents countless hours of testing, redesigning, and pushing the boundaries of what materials and technology can endure. One of the most critical upgrades is the forward flap system, a feature that faced significant issues in earlier designs. During the supersonic re-entry phase, oversized flaps caused drag that disrupted the spacecraft's trajectory. The new flaps, smaller and more aerodynamically balanced, are designed to guide Starship with precision, ensuring stability during the most turbulent moments of its journey. Then there's the heat shield. Re-entering Earth's atmosphere isn't just a challenge, it's a trial by fire. Temperatures soar to levels that can melt even the strongest metals. To combat this, SpaceX has introduced a dual-layer heat shield system. The outer layer, made of fortified tiles, absorbs the initial onslaught of heat, while a secondary ablative layer provides an additional safeguard. Together, these layers form an almost impenetrable barrier, ensuring Starship can withstand the intense conditions of re-entry. But even the best designs face the ultimate test in real-world conditions. As Flight 7 approaches its descent, 
The eyes of millions will be watching, holding their breath as the spacecraft attempts to do what no other has done before. Will it glide through the atmosphere with the grace of a falling feather? Will it touch down on the ocean's surface as gently as planned? The outcome will either be a triumphant moment in SpaceX's history or another chapter of lessons learned. What makes SpaceX's journey so compelling is the people behind it. These aren't just scientists and engineers. They're dreamers and doers, individuals united by a shared belief that humanity's future lies among the stars. Every bolt tightened, every line of code written, and every calculation made carries their hopes and aspirations. They work tirelessly, knowing that each mission isn't just about reaching new heights, it's about proving that anything is possible when we refuse to give up. Elon Musk's vision drives this mission, but it's the collective effort of thousands that brings it to life. The recovery teams stationed off the northwest coast of Australia are already preparing for what they hope will be a different kind of retrieval. Unlike Flight 6, where they collected debris, they're ready to tow back a fully intact starship, floating proudly as a symbol of human ingenuity. Flight 7 isn't just about testing Starship's capabilities, it's about redefining the economics of space travel. Traditional rockets are expensive, often costing hundreds of millions of dollars per launch. Worse, most are expendable, designed to be used once and discarded. Starship changes the game entirely. Its reusability promises to bring costs down to a fraction of what they are today, making space accessible to more than just government agencies and billionaires. Imagine a world where space travel is as routine as flying across the country. That's the future SpaceX is building toward. With a payload capacity of up to 150 metric tons, Starship can carry everything from satellites to entire habitats for future Mars colonies. Its versatility is unmatched, capable of serving as a cargo ship, a crewed vessel, or even a refueling station in orbit. The possibilities are endless, and Flight 7 is the next step in making them a reality. As the countdown reaches its final moments, the tension is palpable. Every detail has been meticulously planned, every risk accounted for. Yet there's always the unknown, the variables that no simulation can predict. Will the new heat shield perform as expected? Will the forward flaps guide the spacecraft with precision? Will the ocean embrace Starship gently, allowing it to float rather than sink? The answers will come in those final moments as the spacecraft hurtles back to Earth defying gravity and doubt. For SpaceX, success isn't just about proving their technology works. It's about proving that humanity is capable of greatness. Each mission builds on the last, and each breakthrough brings us closer to a future where the stars are within reach. Flight 7 is more than a test. It's a testament to what we can achieve when we dare to dream big and work relentlessly to make those dreams a reality. As Starship Flight 7 approaches its historic moment, it's clear that SpaceX isn't just building rockets. They're shaping the future of humanity's relationship with space. This mission embodies everything the company stands for. Relentless innovation, the courage to face failure, and the determination to turn bold ideas into reality. The Block 2 Starship isn't just an upgrade, it's a leap forward, proving that with every challenge comes an opportunity to learn and grow stronger. This isn't just about one flight. It's about laying the foundation for a future where space travel is routine, accessible, and transformative. Flight 7's success could redefine what's possible, making reusability the standard, reducing costs, and opening up new frontiers for exploration. From satellites to star bases, from lunar missions to the red sands of Mars, this is how it begins. And the story doesn't end here. Whether you're here for the technology, the exploration, or the dream of what lies beyond, your journey with us is just beginning. Together, we'll watch as Starship moves from testing to operational flights and beyond, each mission bringing us closer to the stars. If this mission inspires you, if it sparks your curiosity about what humanity can achieve, then don't keep it to yourself. Hit that like button to show your support Share this video to spread the excitement and leave a comment below. What part of this journey fascinates you the most? Don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and turn on notifications so you never miss an update on the future of space exploration. The sky isn't the limit anymore. It's just the beginning. See you in the next episode.
Breaking news from Starbase, Texas. In a bold move that's reshaping the future of space launches, SpaceX is racing against time to complete one of its most ambitious projects yet, Launchpad B. This isn't just another launch facility, it's a complete reimagining of how we send rockets to space. With 2025 just around the corner, SpaceX engineers are working around the clock to bring this revolutionary launch system online. What makes this new launch pad truly extraordinary? Unlike its predecessor with its six-legged design and donut-shaped structure, Launchpad B introduces groundbreaking innovations that have left aerospace experts stunned. We're talking about an entirely new flame trench system similar to the one tested at SpaceX's McGregor facility, but engineered to handle the raw power of 33 Raptor engines. That's more thrust than anything we've seen before. But there's more happening in the world of spaceflight. NASA just announced a significant schedule shift for their astronaut missions, with the Starliner crew facing an extended stay aboard the International Space Station. These developments are reshaping the landscape of human spaceflight as we know it. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're taking you behind the scenes of these incredible developments at Starbase, showing you exclusive footage and breaking down the engineering marvel that is Launchpad B. Let's dive right in. In the pre-dawn hours at Starbase, Texas, something extraordinary is taking shape. As our cameras captured exclusive footage last week, we witnessed a moment that perfectly encapsulates SpaceX's bold vision the first massive steel component of Launchpad B being carefully lowered into place, its metal gleaming under the floodlights against the dark Texas sky. This wasn't just another construction milestone, it was the beginning of a new chapter in space exploration. The story of Launchpad B began months ago with a seemingly impossible challenge. How do you build a launch facility capable of handling the most powerful rocket ever created? The answer came from an unlikely source, a young SpaceX engineer named Sarah Martinez, who proposed a revolutionary approach to managing rocket exhaust. Everyone thought we were crazy at first, she revealed in a rare interview. They said it couldn't be done, but that's exactly why we had to try. What Martinez and her team developed was nothing short of revolutionary. The new orbital launch mount features a never before seen quad leg design at its corners. But here's what makes it truly special. Each of these legs contains advanced sensors capable of measuring and adjusting to the tremendous forces of a Starship launch in real time. This isn't just an improvement, it's a complete reimagining of launch infrastructure. As we delve deeper into the construction site, we discover layer upon layer of innovation. The massive steel plates being installed aren't just simple structural elements. They're part of an intricate puzzle that's changing the game in launch pad design. Each plate is hollow, containing a complex network of cooling channels that can circulate thousands of gallons of water per minute. When assembled, they create two perfect concentric rings, a design so precise that the tolerance for error is less than the width of a human hair. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Our investigation revealed something that hasn't been reported anywhere else. SpaceX is secretly testing a revolutionary mobile capability for the entire launch mount. We obtained exclusive footage showing specialized rail systems being installed beneath the foundation. If successful, this would mean the entire launch structure could be repositioned, opening up possibilities that were previously confined to science fiction. The underground portion of Pad B holds even more surprises. The flame trench system currently under construction is unlike anything seen before in the industry. Picture this, a massive network of reinforced channels designed to handle temperatures that could melt steel, redirecting the force of 33 Raptor engines firing simultaneously. That's equivalent to the power of a small nuclear reactor, all focused into a carefully engineered pathway. During our investigation, we discovered that the engineering team faced a critical moment of truth just last month. Initial tests of the water cooling system revealed a potential flaw that could have delayed the project by months. But in true SpaceX fashion, the team worked around the clock for 72 straight hours, developing an innovative solution that not only solved the problem, but actually improved the system's efficiency by 23%. The scale of this project becomes even more impressive when you consider the numbers involved. The new flame trench will process enough water during a single launch to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool. 
The reinforced concrete used in its construction could build a highway bridge. But it's not just about size, it's about precision. Each component must work in perfect harmony to handle forces that could tear apart